Welcome friends, welcome to your Sunday morning Relax and Reset class. My name is Nadine and I'm so happy to be sharing this class with you back in Austin, back in our PFP headquarters. <laughs> um, we're going to start and finish uh, today's class with a little bit of a longer meditation. So uh, make sure that you have anything that you need to support you in that, whether it be cushions, blanket, if you want to lie down, please feel free. Um, just make sure you're as comfortable as you possibly can be. Today we'll need two chairs as we move into class. Um, and if you haven't already, slide those shoes off and get ready to settle in. So go ahead and sit back in your chair. Relax your feet out in front of you and heavy your spine into the support of your chair. Let your palms face up on your lap and close your eyes down. Find your breath, take a deep breath in through your nose and a long breath out through your mouth. Again, just like that, a full breath in and a long breath out. One more, inhale and an exhale. Release control of your breath, allow your body to just breathe itself and observe this movement of air through you, the rise of your chest as you inhale. And this feeling of steadiness, of settling as you exhale. As you're breathing here, opening up class, just gently draw your shoulders down away from your ears. Soften the expression across your face. Release through your jaw by separating your top teeth from your bottom teeth. And then allow this sense of heaviness to take over your whole body, heavying into the back of your chair, the base of your chair. Observe these slow, gentle breaths as they move through you. I'd like you to imagine yourself sitting in the passenger seat of a car. This is maybe a magic car which drives itself or perhaps one of your loved ones is driving you along. Once you feel yourself settled in your car, your window open and the sun softly trickling down through your front windscreen. Bring to mind the car now moving along a windy road. This road is narrow out in the countryside. And alongside this road, there is a creek. And the road follows the winding path of the creek through fields, bright, brilliant green on either side of your road. And to your left and right side, before the field spread out, there are tall trees. These trees are so tall when you look out your window and up to the sky, you can only just see the top of the canopy, the leaves of the trees. Continue to wind your way along this road trees on either side of you, the sound of the creek running alongside the road, alongside your car. And out beyond the trees, beyond the creek, fields as far as you can see. In this field, these fields, there are cows and sheep. As you slowly roll past them, the cows lift their head up to look at you and then get back to eating. Relaxing, wandering through the field. You hear the sounds of birds overhead and feel the gentle breeze across your face as the car drives forward. 
and soaking in all of this, heavy yourself back into the seat of your car. Feel yourself supported here, safe, warm and at ease. And as you continue to move forward along this road, Notice that the trees are becoming a little more dense on either side of you and the fields are now turning into rolling hills. The grass covering these hills still a brilliant green. Cows and sheep perched on the sides of the hills. As you drive, you notice the road is starting to incline upwards. As you wind along the road, the trees becoming denser, feel the air around you becoming that little bit more cool, almost slightly damp as you move into a forest now. Trees as far as you can see on the left and right side of you. Colour all around, flowers dotted along the side of the road, various shades of green from all of the trees that surround you. You notice ferns popping out on the sides of what are now mountains on either side of you. And the sun filters through the canopy of the treetops, warming your face, flickering light across the surface of your face. Continue to drive along in your car winding through this beautiful forest until eventually your car slows to a stop on the side of the road. Get out and notice a path unfolding in front of you. As you begin to walk along this path, feel the ground beneath you soft, the earth slightly moist, the cushion of dead leaves beneath your feet, crunching every now and again. Ferns on either side of your path graze your shins, your calves, your arms. The air is warm, and slightly heavy, a sense of dampness from the rainforest. Continue to walk along this path as it weaves through this rainforest. Notice butterflies flitting across in front of you. Birds hopping along the front of your path. And the sounds of wildlife all around you. Sounds of animals in the forest. Notice how you feel as you walk slowly forward, stopping every now and again to pay attention to any insects or animals on the trunks of those tall trees on either side of you. Allowing yourself to feel at ease, calm and safe in this rainforest. Walking further still into the rainforest, notice the trees now starting to thin out. And as they thin out, you find yourself in an opening. In front of you, a small but beautiful lake. And the surface of this lake is still crystal clear. You can see the reflection of the clouds in the sky above you, reflecting on the surface of the lake. Walk forward until you arrive to a bench right at the edge of your lake. And sit yourself down in your bench, on your bench. And settle back here. The warmth of the sun now radiating down on you completely. Relax your shoulders, soften your face. And feel a sense of steadiness take you over as you sit in the warmth of the sun. Sounds now of different animals and birds that live around this lake. And 
the far side of the lake notice some birds frolicking about. If you look closely, you can see a turtle or two perched on a rock. Feeling the warmth of the sun radiate down on you, you decide to paddle your feet in the water at the edge of the lake. Continue to visualize yourself sitting on your bench. Now with your feet paddling in the water, just at the base of your bench. And the little splashes that your feet create send ripples across the whole surface of the lake. Cooling you from the outer edges of your body. As well as soaking in the sounds of all of the wildlife around you. Listen to the gentle sounds of the water lapping the shore. And again, notice how you feel. And holding on to these feelings of warmth and calm and ease. Replace that feeling of the bench beneath you with that of the chair that you currently sit on beneath you. Feel your spine heavying into the support of your chair, your legs heavying into the support of your chair. And keep your eyes closed, turn your palms to face down and slide your hands forward to your knees. Pull your spine away from the back of your chair. Roll your shoulders, slide your feet beneath your knees and blink your eyes open. Welcoming yourself back to the space that you find yourself in. Let's move to the front of our chair, holding on to those lovely feelings from the little adventure that we've all been on together. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. And again, up, back and down. One more time, just like that, full breath in. And a long breath out. Keep your shoulders down and back. Take your hands to either sides of your legs, palms face forward. And as you're ready, sweep your arms wide and high. Lift your gaze up, breathe in. On your breath out, draw your fingertips towards one another. Float them all the way down to your thighs. Lower your gaze down as your hands lower. Take your hands wide once again. Inhale, reach up wide and high. Lift and look up full of breath. On the exhale, float your fingertips towards one another, your hands and your gaze down towards your legs, towards the earth. Once more, just like that, a full breath in, gathering up energy. And breathe out, draw your fingertips down. Take your hands to your thighs, rest your hands on your thighs. Keep your shoulders drawn back, draw your right ear to your right shoulder. Lift your head up to centre, left ear to your left shoulder. And all the way back to centre. One more to each side, just like that, right ear, right shoulder. Centre, left ear to your left shoulder. And all the way back to centre. Take your right hand now, wrap it all the way around your low back. And maybe your hand comes to rest at the base of your spine, your sacrum which is perfect. Maybe you reach your right hand all the way around to your left side waist, also perfect. If you have your hand hooked around, you can catch a hold of your right hand with your left, anchoring it there. And then draw your left ear again down towards your left shoulder. Pause here, breathe in. And out. Turn your nose now down towards your left shoulder. Keep your hands exactly as they are and then all the way up to the sky. Feeling the stretch move along the right side of your neck, front and back, again, nose to shoulder, and all the way up to the sky. Good, looking straight ahead. Lift your head all the way back up. Free your right arm from wherever it was. Lean forward and just let your right arm circle a few times in each direction. And let's come to the other side. Place your right hand on your right leg. Left hand reaches around and either the back of your palm connects anywhere along your low back or the back of your pelvis 
or comes all the way around and hooks at the right side of your waist. Both variations are perfect, whatever works for you. Draw your right ear down to your right shoulder now. Find that stretch through the left side of your neck and then start to move your head, nose to shoulder, all the way up to the sky. Twice more, just like that. Look down towards your shoulder and all the way back up. Looking straight ahead, lift your head up, free your left hand, lean forward and take a few circles here with your left arm one way and then the other. And then sit yourself all the way up, find your second chair, bring it over towards you and second, set your second chair up ahead of your first so it's more in line with your knees. And you take your left forearm, rest it on the back of your chair, widen your feet slightly and then lead with your chest, lower yourself forward and down. Any amount until you feel a stretch at the front of your left shoulder or the front of your left chest. And to get this, you may need to slide your left, your chair away from you a little bit. And maybe you rest your right forearm down on your right thigh. And once you find that stretch, pause here, let your head hang heavy. Nod your head out, yes. Shake it out, no. Breathe deeply into the left side of your chest. One more inhale. And an exhale. Lovely friends, draw yourself back up. Keep your chair on your left side, slide it slightly further back and hold on to your chair with both hands and then wash both of your knees towards the left side. Holding on to the back of your chair, press your chest up, big breath in. And then as you breathe out, see if you can round through your upper back, stretching through your upper back, your middle back. And for me, I also feel the stretch in my right inner thigh, my right front of hip. Inhale, come forward, press your chest up. And as you exhale, curling in, chin to chest, round through upper back, middle back, lower back. One more time, just like that, a big breath in. And a long breath out. And rise yourself back up. Turn your torso back to centre. Keep your left hand on your left chair, on your chair, not your left chair, just your chair. Right hand comes to rest on top of left. As you breathe in, reach your right hand to the left, up to the sky and all the way back to your right side. And on the breath out, right hand returns to rest on top of left. One more, just like that. Inhale, forward, up, back. Follow your right fingertips with your gaze. And on your exhale, return. Right hand meets left. Good. Sit yourself all the way up, a hand to each knee. Wash your knees in and out from side to side. And just notice any difference in sensation from one side to the other. Especially through the length, the side lines of your body. Let's do all of that on the other side. So take your chair over to your right side. Start with your chair slightly further forward so that you can rest your right forearm on the chair. Lengthen through your spine, take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, bow yourself forward and all the way down until you feel that stretch, that sensation at the front of your right shoulder. Once you find it, let your, breath hang he uh, your head hang heavy and your breath be full. Nodding out yet, nodding yes, shaking out no. Enjoy one more inhale here. And a long exhale. Slowly rise yourself up from that big stretch. And take both hands now towards your chair on the right side, bring it back slightly, and then wash both of your knees over to the right. So you'll come on to the inner edge of your left foot. Now, once you have a good grip on your chair, take a breath in, press your chest forward. As you breathe out, round, feel your tailbone curl beneath you and then press out through the whole length of your spine. Inhale, reach forward with your chest, draw your arm bones back. And as you exhale, round through the spine. 
One more time, just like that, a full breath in. And a long breath out. Rise yourself back up, tall spine. Turn so both knees are pointing forward. Keep your right hand on your chair on that right side. Left hand comes to rest on top of it. As you breathe in, reach your left hand forward, up and all the way back towards the back left corner of your sphinx. And on your breath out, return. Left hand comes to rest on top of right. Again, just like that, inhale all the way up and back. And as you exhale, left hand returns to right. One more, big breath in. And a long breath out. Great everyone, rise yourself up. Sitting tall again, give those knees a wash from side to side. And you can leave your chair where it is. I'll just pop that one out of the way for some more space. Okay, let's pause for a sip of water here after those big opening stretches. And I'd like to, us to move through a gentle Tai Chi flow and this flow today will, will be our sun salutations. So it can be done seated or standing, of course. I'll demonstrate seated first and, um, and then give you the standing variation. Start by sitting yourself up a nice and tall, draw your shoulders back and rest your hands on your knees. Let's start with that same flow. So take your hands down by your hips, breathe in, reach your hands wide and high. As you breathe out, draw your fingertips towards one another and down to the earth. Rest your hands on your knees. Inhale to glide your hands up your thighs. Once they get to your belly button, draw the backs of your palms to touch, to shoulder height. This is all the breath in. And as you breathe out, open your hands wide as if you are holding a beach ball. Inhale here. And exhale, float yourself forward and all the way down to the earth. Backs of the palms touch. Rise yourself all the way up. Reach your hands to chin height. Offer your hands forward to the sky, up to the sky, forward and all the way down. And once again, curl yourself up, backs of the palms touch, coming to shoulder height now, opening up once again as if you're holding that beach ball. Pause here, breathe in. As you breathe out, take your hands to your knees. Keep going standing as seated friends. I'll show you the standing option now. On the inhale, you'll have a soft bend in your knees. Glide your hands up your thighs. In front of your belly button, draw the backs of your palms together. Reach your palms to the sky, unfold and fold down to, forward and down to the earth. Big breath in, backs of the palms touch. Rise yourself up. As you breathe out, open your hands as if you're holding that beach ball. Inhale, create space here. Exhale, take your hands to your knees. Breathe in, glide all the way up your legs, backs of the palms touch. Right up to your chin, draw your palms to the sky, then offer yourself forward and down, whether you're seated or standing. Rising up, inhale. Reach your hands all the way up to shoulder height. As you exhale, open them wide as if you're holding that beach ball. Breath in, fill up. And breathe out, hands to knees. Inhale, glide your hands up your legs. Backs of the palms touch at the belly button. Breathe right up to your chin. And as you breathe out, hands to the sky. Fold forward and down to the earth. Backs of the palms touch, rising all the way up. Find your beach ball as you exhale. And breathe in here. Exhale, float your hands to your knees. And breath in, glide your hands along your thighs, backs of the palms touch at the belly button. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, palms to the sky, fold forward and down. Offering to close your eyes down now as these movements become very well known to you. Backs of the palms touch, inhale, rise up to shoulder height. Open your arms out as if you're holding a beach ball. Breathe in. 
palms to knees as you breathe out. And glide up the legs, backs of the palms touch at your belly button. Flip your hands, face them up to the sky and then offer yourself forward and all the way down. We'll do two more cycles of this. Big breath in, rising up. And breathe out, holding your beach ball. Inhale, create space between your arms, front of your chest. As you exhale, hands to your knees. Slide your hands up your thighs, backs of the palms touch right up to your chin. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Offer your palms to the sky, fold yourself forward and all the way down. Last time through, backs of the palms touch. Inhale here. On your exhale, bring your hands out as if you're holding that beach ball. Breath in, expand. Breathe out, hands to knees. And glide your hands all the way up your thighs, backs of the palms touch, all the way up to your chin, offer your palms to the sky, fold yourself forward and all the way down. And then reach your arms beneath your thighs, catch a hold of opposite wrists or forearms. Again, let your head hang heavy. Give your head a nod, a shake out from side to side. And free your hands, walk your hands all the way up the front line of your legs, slow and steady. Until you find yourself sitting up nice and tall, slide your shoulders down, close your eyes down. Enjoy a breath in. And a breath out. Notice how you're feeling right now. How you're feeling in your body. The thoughts that may be moving through your mind. If you feel like your mind has scampered off ahead into the day that you have in front of you or reflecting on any experiences that you have had in the last few days, place yourself back on that bench, sitting in the sun, paddling your feet in that beautiful clear lake. Nowhere else to be, nothing else to be doing in this moment. And as you're ready, blink your eyes back open. Great, everyone. Let's find our second chair once again. Turn your second chair to face you now. And I'd like you to slide yourself all the way over onto the right side of your chair. Let's begin to slide your right toes back behind you. Any amount, so just make sure that you're nice and steady through your left sit bone. And slide your right toes back until you feel that stretch at the front of your right thigh. From here, bring your second chair in front of you. Place your right hand down on it. And take a big breath in. Reach your left hand all the way up to the sky. So feeling this stretch through the left side of your body, maybe even all the way down the right side of your body to the top of your kneecap. Take a big breath in here. And a long breath out. One more, inhale. As you exhale, return your left hand down to the chair. Slide your knee slightly further in and extend your left leg straight, any amount. So anchor your left heel down. Your right knee is still a little further back on the chair. Now walk your hands forward towards the back of your, the base of your second chair. Bow yourself forward until you feel that stretch at the back of your left leg. Pausing here, breath in and out. One more, inhale. And an exhale. Take your hands all the way back to the front of your chair. Lean into your left hip. Slide your right foot around, your left foot back. And then shift yourself back to the center of your chair. Just give those knees a wash from side to side. That was a big whole body stretch right there. Take your hands, interlace them in front of your right knee. Pull your right knee up and circle through your right ankle. Just relieving any tension through there from that extension back with the right foot. 
point and flex the toe. Okay, and let's try all of that on the other side. I'll turn my chair, you don't need to. I'll just turn my chair so that you can see me. Point on. Okay, so now we're going all the way over to the left side of our chair. So getting right on that edge until you feel really steady through your right leg and your left leg has the space to extend back. Standing friends, if you're doing this, you can do this like so using your second chair. That's what it'll look like for you. And then as you extend your right leg straight, you can anchor your left heel down. So there are those two shapes for you standing. Seated friends, they're big shapes standing as well. So just be mindful and make sure you're steady with your chair if you are taking that variation. Once you've extended your left leg back any amount, find a little press of your hips forward until you feel that big stretch at the front of your left hip. And then lean yourself forward, float your left hand down to your chair, reach your right arm all the way up to the sky. Pause here, breathe in. And breathe out. One more, inhale. As you exhale, float your right hand down. Shuffle your left foot forward slightly and then extend your right leg straight any amount. Just anchoring your right heel down on the floor, toes to the sky. Big breath in, find length through your spine. As you breathe out, bow yourself forward, slide your hands to the back of the base of your second chair. One more breath in. And a long breath out. Enjoy yourself back up. Lean into your right outer hip now. Slide your left foot around. Shuffle yourself so you're back on your chair. Big stretch through both legs. Interlace your hands in front of your left knee. Pick your left knee up. Circle through that ankle at the same time. Encourage your shoulders to draw down and back. Circling one way, then back in the other direction, pointing and flexing through the foot. Great, everyone. We've stretched the front of our hips, the back of the thighs. Now let's open the legs wide to stretch our inner thighs. So heels are in, toes are out, facing you or second chair. Reach your hands back to the back of your chair. Walk yourself, uh, your hands forward, I should say. And bow your chest down and keep reaching your hands away from you widen your knees back behind you creating stretch through the inner thighs and at the same time through the sidelines of your body enjoying one more breath in and a breath out And take your hands, place them back down on your chair. Rise yourself up, rolling your shoulders one at a time, back and around, back and around. Great everyone, I hope you're feeling well from those big stretches. You can set your second chair off to one side, come back again to sit facing forwards. And just wash those knees side to side. We're going to finish by giving our feet and lower legs a little bit of love and attention. So if you have the range of movement, you can bring your right foot up to rest on your left knee, or you can rest your right foot up on some pillows or on a step. And just let it sit like so. If you have your right foot lower down um, than your knee, it may be hard to access the sole of your foot. So you don't worry about that part if your foot's resting down here. Instead, taking your thumbs and just starting to work them 
down the inside of your shin bone, your tibia, up and down. And then your four fingers on each hand down the outside of your tibia. And then you can take your thumbs into the muscle belly of your calf, giving yourself a little massage here. If you have your right foot crossed over your left ankle, same thing, up and down, some gentle massage. There's lots of acupressure points along uh, these channels of our lower legs and into the soles of our feet as well. So that have an effect on all sorts of parts of your body. But just stimulating this lower part of your leg with some gentle massage, maybe down on either side of your Achilles tendon as well, massaging out through there. If you have your right foot crossed over your left knee, you can give the sole of your right foot some massage there. Along the arch of your foot, the ball of your foot, between each of your toes. So close your eyes down, just taking some time to massage around and down your right lower leg, the back of your leg, maybe into your foot, if you can access it. Giving this part of our body some love and attention because um, we don't always <laughs> give our feet the love that they need and our lower legs the love that they need especially since they carry us through our life. <laughs> All right. And then floating that right foot down for a moment, just notice how you feel the difference between right and left side. And go ahead, take it across to the other side. So bring your left foot up onto a chair is also a great option. Or onto your um, little step or stack of pillows. Start with the shin, this time it'll be the thumbs, or again it will be the thumbs gliding along the inside of your shin bone, your tibia, up and down and quite tender through this area, so just be gentle with yourself. And then the four fingers of each hand moving along the outside. Massaging into your calf, maybe down into your foot if you can access it. The other side of the Achilles as well. And again, top of the foot, sole of the foot, if you can access it. And if you're resting your, right, uh, your left foot on a chair, it would look like like this. Maybe a little bit easier to access. So keeping your breath deep and full here. All right. And then returning your left foot down to the floor. Close your eyes down, just feeling into both left and right side. Your outer hip would have got a little bit of stretch there as well when you're working on that massage on both left and right side of your legs and feet. So with our lower body stretched and our upper body full of fresh energy and breath from that Tai Chi flow, let's finish off with another short meditation. You can put your legs up on your second chair. If you're doing this, you might like a pillow at your low back or a pillow underneath your legs. Just set yourself up so you're nice and comfortable here. Heavying your spine into the support of your chair. Relaxing through your legs. Close your eyes down, take a deep breath in. A long breath out. And straight away, picking up the meditation where we left off at the beginning of class. Find yourself sitting on your bench. 
feeling the warmth of the sun radiating down on you. Sounds of life all around you. As you're ready, make your way up from your bench, walk back through the rainforest, taking your time, noticing new plants, different birds, trees, anything that you may have missed as you walked through this same rainforest on the way to your lake. Take your time again, just paying attention to all of the vibrant shades of green, the browns, and the colour of flowers, the blue of the sky way overhead. Paying attention to the smells and the sounds around you in this beautiful rainforest. And the feeling of the ground beneath your feet, trees, leaves, ferns skimming your arms and legs as you walk. As you continue to walk through your rainforest, savouring these moments of time in nature, painting the image in your mind to be as bright and brilliant as possible. Maybe it's a forest that you've been in before, maybe it's one that you have created in your mind's eye fresh today. Continue to walk until you get to your car, settling into that passenger seat and maybe once again your loved one is there ready to drive you back or maybe you're in a magic car and it drives itself. Turning around on that winding road, starting to make your way down, the road winds around the sides of mountains, trees on either side. Dappled light flickers against your windscreen and the warm breeze is on your face. You're making your way back down along this road until the trees of the forest start to thin and you're left with those rolling beautiful green hills on either sides of you. You notice the occasional horse Cows and sheep look up at you for a moment, curious, and then get back to what they were doing. Continue driving, weaving through these rolling hills, noticing that creek once again alongside the road, guiding you until the landscape flattens out once again and there's fields on either side of you. as far as you can see. Feel the sun warming your face now. Noticing the clouds in the sky. Eventually those tall trees start to change and make way to more shrubbery. Those brilliant green fields on either side of you turn into more of a grassland. You keep driving along this winding, small, narrow road. And you begin to notice more sand in the soil as you drive further and further away from those fields, the hills, the forest, the rainforest. And eventually there are sand dunes now on either side of you. And driving through them, grass flowing in the sand, long grass. The sound of seagulls overhead. And park your car once again. And this time when you get out, there is a sandy path in front of you. 
beach scrub, beach, beach shrubs line the side of the path, and the sand underfoot. Feel the warmth of the sand. Listen to the sound of the ocean just beyond the path. And feel the sea breeze on your face. Make your way all the way down onto the sand of the beach. The ocean is wild in front of you, big crashing waves. The sea air whips across your face. The sound of seagulls all around. Your feet are warm as they stand in the sand. Open your arms wide, take a big breath in as you stand on your beach. Soaking in that sea air, and a long breath out. Feeling the wind across your face, your skin, the warmth of the sand beneath your feet. Ocean as far as the eye can see. Enjoy a few more deep breaths here, standing at the water's edge. And soaking in that feeling being at the beach gives you that feeling of being invigorated, revitalized, refreshed. Holding that feeling now within you. Bring your awareness back to the space that you find yourself in. Feeling the chair beneath you. And as you're ready, you can blink your eyes open. And bring some gentle movement into your fingers and toes. Give your head a little roll from side to side. Welcoming yourself back to the space that you find yourself in, but holding on to the feelings that that meditation, I hope, created within you. And if you were with me for last week's class, uh, where we did our relax and reset in a rainforest, uh, that journey that I just shared was the journey that I took to get to that place and then the journey all the way back to the beach. And they call it where the forest meets the sea, that particular part um, of the country that I was in. So thanks for coming back with me to Australia, everyone. Thanks for being here for class today. Um, I look forward to sharing more Relax and Reset um, joy with you in the coming weeks. If you enjoyed class today, please give it a thumbs up. I love all the comments, I read all of the comments, so also feel free to leave a comment below and um, subscribe if you haven't already. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for everyone, bye for now.